So to follow up on the video we've been doing on headsets, I was digging in a little more trying to figure out why the Countryman might be significantly more money. On specifications, the way impedances match up to wireless belt packs, the way things behave in the real world, just kind of curious about things like self-noise. The interesting part was trying to find a way to do it. So what we did is we found a way to isolate the headset itself in an isolation chamber so we could hook it up to the body pack, get all of the equivalent gains the same. So we found about a 12 dB difference between the Countryman and the Polson and the AVL. Got that adjusted and we ended up using the Sennheiser Digital Wireless, which is this guy, so that we were able to keep a consistent body pack between all of the units. And what was interesting, what we found is that the sound of the Polson and the sound of the AVL and their background noise levels seem to be virtually identical. The Countryman is significantly quieter at low frequencies, but seems to be a bit noisier at high frequencies. So I'm gonna let you see some playback here of the various results we got. And these are being played back at very accentuated levels so that they come out on YouTube. In the real world, these are way down in level. Whether or not they come into play in many situations, hard to say. Um, where they might come into play is if you've got like a dozen wirelesses and you're not gating them and they're all on at the same time, the amount of background noise from one end or the other, high frequency or low, could be a significant disadvantage. But anyway, I found it interesting and it does kind of match up to what I was thinking is that the mic elements from both Polson and AVL probably being knocked out of the same factories in China. The Countryman is obviously a slightly different animal and it is significantly quieter at low frequencies, even though you have to crank up the gain on the body pack to get it equally loud. And what we did initially to get the gain structures right is we took a loudspeaker playing pink noise, got the elements literally right up against this little miniature loudspeaker, and then matched the levels on all three of these headsets before we did the testing. So here is the background noise greatly accentuated on the AVL 630. That's the Polson. That's the AVL 630. Now the interesting thing between those two is not only is there a difference at low frequencies, there's a difference at high frequencies, which you can hear in this environment. Hopefully that will translate into this video as well. That's the Countryman. Olson, AVL, Olson, Country. Now when we go back to the Polson or the AVL and we want to get rid of that low frequency noise, that's done with a filter here which is basically minus 5 at 400 hertz. And then comparing that to the Countryman without that filter, the AVL 630 with that filter on has less high frequency noise than the Pulson. So once you've EQ'd out some of the low frequency noise to be able to hear everything, And then when you get to the Countryman, it's very, very quiet throughout the whole primary voice range, but this accentuated high frequency noise, same problem, you've got to decide, you know, do you want to get rid of that? And all of these things can be EQ'd out. So giving these a listen, the difference between the Pulson at 
and the AVL 630 at $79, there's a significant difference in noise floor, but not necessarily anything to justify the cost difference. When you go to the Countryman, there's a significant difference in noise floor. So depending on your application, that might be worth the cost of admission. We're trying to get samples of some other mics that are similar in different classes. Uh, we've requested some from a few manufacturers. So we may be coming back with another video on this topic. Uh, this is a big one for us because we use lots and lots of headsets. And for years, we've been using the Countryman's and we've been having people come back with problems of breakage and cost. And the, uh, the AVL 630s where we've used them, people have been very happy with them. But once again, depends on how much background noise is in your, use, in your room, how your PA is EQ'd, the voices you're using, how many are on at any one time, the specific body pack. Um, this particular Sennheiser body pack that we're using, which is this guy, it's a digital body pack. There it is. Um, it's going to behave differently than some other people's body packs. So the interaction of a headset and a specific transmitter is going to be different from uh, product to product. But anyway, I just found it interesting. And it does give you some reason that the countryman costs so much more unless you don't like high frequency noise.